breatharianism what is that you might ask seriously what the what the fuck is that breatharianism is maybe one of the most deadly pseudosciences ever the idea that you can live without consuming food or water it's exactly what it sounds like you're feeding off of the breath something that they call prana you know that thing people have been doing since the beginning of time dying of starvation apparently you just have to be more spiritual about it People have literally died from following proponents of it. You know, you go from standard American diet, vegetarian to vegan to raw vegan to living off of juices, and then eventually you go to... Uh... How about a breatharian? Yes, a breatharian, as in breath. 25-year-old Audra Bear follows this lifestyle, which is also known as prana. She's very popular on Instagram. The idea here is not to weigh yourself down with food. It's so irresponsible for the news to even play shit like that. Like, we know that there's enough gullible people out there who have this, like, emptiness inside of them. This thing that they're trying to fill with a deeper meaning. And that's what these prey on. It's a cult. It's just, that's what it is. When you put it on the news and you just show this stuff, you're basically just advertising a cult. It's so absurd. You're not a plant. This isn't photosynthesis. Even plants drink water. What are your teeth for? What's your mouth for? Why do you have stomach acid? Why do you have a stomach? Do you even poop anymore? Are you saying that you shouldn't poop? Got a lot of questions, I feel like. Let's jump into these questions. A lot of you ask this. Do you still poop? <laughs> yeah. Probably more fluid than uh, I ever did in my life. Oh my God. I mean, that is a question you have, but it's like, you've just, you've just been shitting liquid? That's bad. <laughs> you should get that checked out. Emotions and everything still get stored away in our body, okay? So like, think of things as really like energetically. I have been on water for like two, three days and still had bowel movements. Been on water, like it's a drug. You can drink water, it's fine. You don't have to abstain from absolutely everything. Do you think breathing properly and doing juice only could help OCD? I've had it for 13 years, pretty bad. 110,000, thousand percent. OCD just is your nervous system and breath work is really getting in tune with your nervous system. I don't think she's qualified to say any of that. <laughs> Basically just belittles every, everything. To these people, everything is cured by being breatharian or being a liquidarian as they call it. So I said, what do you eat then? Genuine question. Mainly I'm consuming smoothies, fruit smoothies, juices, raw soups, tea, water. What else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Coconut water. I mean, she's still ingesting stuff. Whether you blend it up and you drink it or you eat it, that doesn't make you a breatharian. You just blended it up so that you can drink it faster. That's not a breatharian. You failed. Notice any hair growth or thickness yet? It's growing so much. It has grown so much growing <laughs> and it's just like nonstop. That's what hair does. That's what hair does. It's growing and it grows pretty much nonstop. I understand getting on a clean diet, even fasting in the sense of when people fast, they're not ingesting shitty food. You just don't ingest shitty food for a small amount of time. You will feel better but you can't fast forever. You will die. They're like, I'm going to ascend. Ascension is dying. You're gonna kill yourself. There's so much more mental clarity. I have so much more creativity than I've ever had in my life. It's like, I don't even know what to do with it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I'm so creative now. I'm so creative, I'm a genius. My hair won't stop fucking growing. <laughs> I'm so creative that I did a Q&A on YouTube. Got so much creativity, I don't even know what to do with it all. I guess I'll just do something that everybody else does because I've actually become so creative that I'm actually back to being non-creative. It's how creative I am from this breathing diet. Had the biggest breakfast this morning. Yeah, dude. Fresh air for 20 minutes. <laughs> Good morning, guys, and aloha. I feel like if you're a breatharian, you have to say aloha, whether you're in Hawaii or not. Namaste, aloha. Aloha, namaste to you as well. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's what it's like to live in the city. Um, this is my first video update since the 10-day breatharian initiation pranic living process. This 
she looks anorexic. She just looks so unhealthy, you know? Like, this thing was supposed to be funny. Breatharian, ha, ah, that's hilarious. Look at these wackos. But it's like, you're looking at eating disorders. So for the past seven days and nights, um, I have not had anything to eat or drink. Seven days? days without drinking water. Your kidneys are not okay. You're extremely dehydrated. Your mental clarity is plummeting. You just pee dust at this point. I will never take you for granted again. Thank you, water. Thank you, water. Thank you, water. That's what this is. Being like, I don't need to drink water for seven days is taking water for granted. It's not normal people who drink water to stay hydrated and because we're thirsty. We're not taking it for granted. I think I found the ultimate breatharian boss, the final level. Once you defeat all breatharians, you have to face this man. I don't know why there's a colon there. Secret colon z. Se secret. Z revealed. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I have discovered a place that is really natural, that is human, that is out of the insanity of the world and the noise. <laughs> out of the insanity, into this, what I'm doing, which is perfectly sane. I'm up in a cave with no clothes, not eating or drinking water. Finally, some sanity. Am I right, guys? Hi. Welcome to Yogaversity, a university based upon solely the practice of yoga. Yogaversity. It's like university, but he spelt it like he's from India. I live in a cave. I do nothing all day. I eat nothing all day. I don't drink all day. Somehow, I have power up here. I also have my laptop so that I can stay connected to the YouTubes. If he's really disconnected from all the, the harshness of our cities and our the way of living, why does he have to have all these things that are showing it to us. This guy just has a big ego, which is fine. You can have a big ego, but not when your whole thing is about being egoless. Also, what, you just shave your chest every day? You're raw, you're natural, but you just are the most hairless guy ever. Because the ecstasy is so deep that the bliss, you don't need to go anywhere to find it. The ecstasy is so deep. <laughs> He's just on ecstasy. Fucking got lost in the fucking caves. He's just high as fuck. This guy's just like a Cali surfer who caught the world's biggest wave and it just fucking took him all the way to the caves where he fucking has lived ever since. What is yoga? What is breath? What did he, did he just do like an Indian accent? What is yoga? What is breath? What is yoga? What is breath? <laughs> what was that? And then he just goes right back to being a fucking stoner, bro. Now this is critical, okay? I'm not wearing any clothes. When you wear clothes, you have an eating disorder. That's right. This is a, a, in an English a, aerostatic way of saying I'm wealthy. I don't know, man. Not all of our clothing is just to show off how rich we are. Sometimes we wear it because it's cold. Or to protect yourself from the sun because it's hot. Or, you know, to just not get scratches easily on you when you walk by a shrub. As I know and I believe, since it's obvious on the porno, computers, internet, 50% plus people are looking at porno on the internet as opposed... Hey man, don't call it porno, first of all. Say pornography. Say porn. Porno is the creepiest way of saying that word, so... Also, no it's not. I looked it up. It's 30%. And also, nudity, which 50% of the population approves of? What does that even mean? That half of the people in the world are like, Never be naked. They just shower with their clothes on? I don't understand what that means, and you just made it up. And that's cool, man. This whole thing, <laughs> I don't know why I'm letting this get to me. I'm up here staying in these caves. For my health and yours, I've discovered some things. And this is why Yogis has some secrets to reveal that is vital for your health. Dude, this guy's just the same as like any Ty Lopez, Sam Ovens type character who's just trying to sell you shit. This guy's just trying to sell you 
something a little different. He's pushing this shit so hard. Like for somebody who's like, you know, enlightened, he sure has a lot of like subscribe and like visit my fucking website and I have secrets. Don't you think? Don't you think? He's pushing it a little bit much for a guy who's supposed to be like egoless. Maybe I'm the stupid one. Maybe I'm the one who just doesn't get it. Costumes are clothes. They rob you of your life, cost you a fortune, and keep you a prisoner to the police force that governments use to enslave us. Didn't realize my clothes were keeping me a prisoner to the police force. What does that even mean? Man, this kind of sounds like a, a Corey Feldman lyric. <laughs> you know what I mean? What I'm saying is it's super deep. All right, I'm fucking done with this stuff, man. I literally, I can't watch anymore. You know, I'm gonna dip in, review it a bit, and then dip out. I'm not gonna watch more of this right now. You can go ahead and smash your face into the like button. Maybe hit subscribe while you're at it. Ring the notification bell. It's been fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. Peace. Do you still poop? Yes. <laughs>